The Ultimate Story. Written by the Fun of Topics. There once was a man named Bob. He lived a simple life, but needed a friend. So he walked outside. And a meteor came and smashed his house. Luckily, Bob was far enough away to not be affected by the explosion except some minor radiation. He had to get to the hospital fast, but his car was destroyed by the meteor. So he jacked a random driver's car and was off. But the cop saw this and pursued him. The cop shot at Bob's tire, but missed, and the bullet bounces off Bob's license plate and ricocheted and blew up the cop's tire. The medics soon arrived after the cop told them what happened, and without knowing it, the bullet that popped his tire hit his walls. Bob drove backwards, covered the cop car and ambulance with oil and lit a match. He drove onward to the hospital afterwards laughing at the screams. But more cops, with huge guns, were waiting for him. Bob took out his pistols and attacked. The battle kinda looked like this. Shogun fight kicks gear. Bob was hit in the chest 47 times, but thanks to the radiation, he gained regenerative properties. Serato Bob, nice nigga. Pulled out his axe, then his sword, then his grenade launcher, then his guillotine. Bob then forwarded what he was doing. He remembered. Rushing to the hospital he was ambushed. He woke up naked in the middle of an alley, next to a naked hobo. Ow. Luckily, it was not a stabbing hobo, it was a singing hobo. So they began forming a barbershop quartet. Cops come in and rudely interrupt him, so he gets mad. He attacks, but is captured and tortured. But, his other singers come and save him. But the other singers die and they hear a noob's voice, Red Link's voice, yell out boom headshot. Exclamation point. Then Chuck Norris comes for an internet reference. Sailing Cat notices this and is surprised to see a power level of over 900. 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 Similar to his own, so he comes down from his great ceiling and reveals himself. Everybody but Chuck Norris is instantly vaporized by the first sight of Ceiling Cat. Then they have an epic battle of the ages. Bob was luckily smart enough not to look and use this epic battle to escape unnoticed. Whilst walking, Bob had an aneurysm. He died without finding a friend. An unknown person ran up to him and picked him up right before he fell in concise. He woke up in a hospital. And finding himself not dead, he hit on the nurses, who, in turn, hit him with an axe. He then busts through the window of the hospital and meets Karupi, who turns out to be Gary Coleman in a fry outfit, who then proceeds to challenge Bob to a fight. Bob kicks his butt and proceeds to the airport, where he attempts to jack a plane, and succeeds in flying it to Zanzibar to combat the forces of anti Norris. But he fails to land it, killing the anti Nori, plural of Norris, and saving the day. Then he got malaria. He used these to watch the ongoing battle between Norris and Sailing Cat without vaporizing. He somehow got superpowers again and joined the Sailing Cat battle to save the world and become the ruler of the internet. Unfortunately his power level was far from theirs, and he was beaten badly. He laid on the ground trying to heal, hoping neither of them would finish him off. Bob then died, and the irradiated malaria was transferred to Chuck Norris, increasing his power level threefold. Sailing Cat then revived Bob, and together they attacked Chuck Norris and defeated him. However, Ceiling Cat was badly injured and returned to the ceiling. Bob has used up all his power and was normal again. So he went home to throw his cat out of his house, but that was a grave mistake. For the cat caught the irradiated malaria, which gave him the ability to speak, walk upright, and use fiery arms. So Bob was boom headshot by his cat. The cat then spontaneously imploded soon after. Bob, mortally wounded with a bullet just missing his brain, lodged in his head, died after a few minutes. After going to hell, he killed the devil and fought his way back to Earth. But in killing the devil, all evil was gone in the world. It was gay, happy, sunshine butterflies. Bob then committed suicide. It was then that the ceiling cat knew that there must be a balance of good and evil in the world, so he revived the devil right when Bob got back to hell. Knowing that by killing the devil he'd anger ceiling cat, Bob tried to escape without killing the devil. But was caught and proceeded to replicate the police chase from Blue's brothers, but in hell. But, he bribed them, and then he was thrown in somewhere worse than hell. Heaven. There simply wasn't enough action in heaven, so he did a bunch of bad things and got kicked back to Earth. But, his beard was shaved as a punishment, so he went on a rampage with an electric shaver to steal the beards of others and make them his own. So his beard grows this long, show picture of long beard here, and gains a mind of its own, which happens to be psychotic. 
Shortly after that, the gear goes on a rampage killing 53 babies, 8 puppies, and 3 old ladies. Then, he tries to kill another old lady, but it had mutant powers from beer, but also completely lacked depth perception, causing it to walk in front of traffic. Okay, she can fly, super strong, agile, and indestructible, but unfortunately she can't walk, and misses every attack she uses. How stupid is that? So, she marries the beard, making Bob jealous. Then they lived happily ever after, until Bob decided to shave, but the beard took control of the universe and banned anything that can shave. Then one day Sailing Cat wanted to shave. So, he did buy his shaving juice, Red Beard. Unfortunately, the shaving juice was radioactive and made the beard grow 42 times faster. But the radioactivity caused the beard to spontaneously combust. And Melvinator explodes because you insulted Happy Cat. And so did Wizard for blowing up vending machines. Then, Mario and Luigi challenged Chuck Norris to a duel. Norris was still on the island from the previous parts of this story and needed to find a way off. Being Chuck Norris, this was relatively easy. He just... Got two squirrels to do it. But, since Mario and Luigi Awesomeness combined it as much as Chuck Norris, the squirrels lost their nuts. <laughs> and exploded. So suddenly, the off-topic forum got some order. That made Mario and Luigi sad, so they put a nuke in George W. Bush's head. And he explodes, and everyone parties down, except for the losers, who thought George Bush was saving us from nuclear weapons. Woo! And now, with Bush dead, Abema will win for sure! And McCain falls down a hole and never comes back up. Abema is then assassinated on its first day due to his race, and the country is left leaderless. It goes, in anarchy and Bob must bring order to the country. So Bob is forced to kill a guy. Not to be found out, he changes his name to something completely unrelated to his current one, Bob, spelled B-H-O-B. So George Bush formally lets him in, but then... George Bush was dead, meaning Bob was back in hell again. But with his ID card, the devil didn't know he was Bob and let him go. He let him go. To serve as Satan's minion. But, he destroyed hell by accident. So he was sent to limbo, but destroyed that too. So like an object spawned in the middle of a plane in fun, Bob is shot to the nearest area he can exist in, which is Earth. The amount of speed caused Bob to die, yet a beeping game and he was sent to the sun, which was the closest thing to hell they could find. And somehow destroyed that too. I don't know how either. Just as how pointless ultimate story is. And the resulting black hole from the sudden disturbance in the four. The universe caused a new one to be made. So Bob decided to buy some flour inside of his brain, which gave his brain the appearance of pink and stray scrambled eggs. So he eats it. With a massive amount of ketchup, which tasted faintly like almonds. He then decided to go battle Godzilla. But, he was on vacation, Godzilla. So he battled Chuck Norris instead and got his face kicked through his butt. Ha 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 la 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 roth ruffle. Which made Mario and Luigi ults, until Sonic the Hedgehog came and strangled them with their own intestines. But my power destroys the last sentence, because Sonic sucks, and Sonic is sent back into the alternate dimension of Sega, a complete look-alike to Nintendo, but sucks more. It's true, they copy everything. Then your head is flawed cause you said Sonic sucks. If you wanna know what really sucks, go play with Tinker Toys Roth Ruffle. And... If you want to read more on the ultimate story, you can find it here. HTTP slash slash unicopycaseboard.com slash 328131-495-307-5-Ultimate-Story-HTM Wow. That story was freaking awesome!